Hey, what's up, family? Welcome back to Basad Kitchen again. Today we are doing my favorite recipe. We are making chicken palau. We're gonna separate it in two steps. We're gonna make the yakni and then we're gonna make the masala. And in the end, we'll make a fantastic, awesome recipe, Basad style. Let's go over the ingredients really quick. We have ground coriander, black zira, red chili, ground garam masala, cinnamon stick, black cardamom pods, bay leaves, salt, oil, onion, green chili, chopped cilantro, tomatoes, yogurt, and fresh garlic. So I have about six and a half pounds of chicken, medium pieces. I have three glasses of rice, soaked and washed. Now, the thing with this is, what is the proper ratio of yakni versus rice? So if you're using three glasses of rice, the amount of yakni that you're gonna put in your rice is gonna be, has to be around four and a half glasses to get the perfect rice. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you the whole entire process. It's really cool and as far as uh, the measurements for the ingredients, we'll have them all in the description. Let's get started. I love this recipe and you're gonna love it too. Basan style. Let's start off with making the broth or yakni. So I have five glasses of water in and now we're gonna add the rest of the ingredients. We add chicken. Add onion. If you're gonna use Roma tomatoes, they're smaller, so use two. And if you're using the regular big tomatoes, then just use one. We have two bay leaves, two cinnamon sticks, cloves, and cardamom pods, black cardamom pods. Add one tablespoon garlic, one tablespoon salt, coriander powder, black zira and a green chili. We have the stock pot ready. It's gonna make a nice jakni. We're gonna make, you don't wanna over boil it, just stay on top of it. And as soon as it's done, we're gonna take all the big ingredients out and toss them out, separate the yakni, and then we're gonna start making the masala. It's awesome, I got this, I'll teach you guys. pot we're gonna take one and a half cups of oil and we're gonna fry onions because that takes a while in my while we have the yakni wedding done we'll get that done it's already starting to smell like palau the color is gorgeous this is like my favorite step I love the colors and the smell it just reminds me of home it reminds me of my mom making it so it's a good recipe. It's a recipe that takes me home, so I hope it does the same for you guys. So we add the onion and give it a quick saute. Oh no, we let the oil do its job. Remember I showed you guys, you heat up the pan first, you get the oil really hot, so it gives that shock and all as soon as you put the onion, so it starts to break it down really fast. And now, until it's brown but this step the color of your palau is gonna depend on the color of your onions because the brown color comes from the darkness of the onions because it gets transferred into the yakni and in turn yakni turns the rice into that gorgeous brown color I'm gonna show you what is the perfect color you're gonna love it stock looks like it's completely ready you see the little bit of oil coming out from the chicken and the pot is nice and angry the boil has to be like really hard so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the chicken out of the pot and I'm gonna separate it because you don't wanna overcook it and we're gonna leave the stock on simmer and then we're gonna start the second stage of this process. Simple, it's cool, and it's awesome. But before we do all of this, my favorite test. Wow, I could drink this by the cup, but some style. So you just take the chicken out. This is a perfect color for the onions. So that in turn, they're gonna color the yakni, which is gonna color the palau. So now we add chicken. 
and give it a nice saute mark on it. There you go. Rendered color so gorgeous. I'm gonna quickly add one teaspoon of salt, teaspoon garam masala, and one teaspoon red chili, and give it a quick saute. Let the spices do their job, and then we're gonna add the red ingredients. We add tomatoes and one cup of yogurt. Saute is good. Now you just have to make sure you separate oil from the masala. You break the tomatoes down, add the yakni, add the rice. Easy peasy. From the yakni, I'm just separating all the big seasonings. And then I'm gonna run it through the strainer so we just have the liquid. None of the big spices. So the masala for the palau is ready. Oil is separated. The color is beautiful. I know it's gonna color the rice perfect brown. And the yakni is ready. Now, what I said about the measurement is gonna have to be four and a half glasses of uh, stock for three glasses of rice. So let's get it done. I like to be precise. So I'm gonna measure it exactly and whatever is missing, you can add it with water. So this makes it exactly four and a half glasses. It's a perfect and accurate count. If you don't overcook your yakni or your stock, it's gonna give you exactly four and a half, a little bit more, which is good, because you're gonna bring this to a boil, so you're gonna lose some liquid there, and then you're gonna add the rice. Yakni is ready, it's boiling. You're gonna add the rice. Make sure you get all the rice in, because like I said, good rice is expensive. Very gently, you stir it in, and you, yeah. The rice to liquid ratio is perfect. Now we're gonna dry the rice out. We're gonna put it on dumb. We're gonna add cilantro and we're gonna steam it out and then we're gonna serve. As the rice is taking in the stock and they're cooking, you could tell the rice to liquid portion how awesome it is. It's working out just fine. Just gonna dry it out and then we're gonna put it on dumb. Another thing about stirring the rice is you do side to side and do it very gently. So you don't break it over here at this crucial stage. But take your time with it and very gently turn it. This is about the right time to put it on dump so the steam can finish cooking the rice. Ow, 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 ow. Put it there. On. Cross down. And on dump, on medium. See the steam coming out from the sides of it? That's an indication for me. All right. Wow. If you can look at the color, wow. Look at the grain of rice. It is gorgeous. Wow. Look at that. This is exactly what the sun style is. Look how perfect the grain of rice, how long it is, the gorgeous color and it's steamed through and through. Let's get plating the sun style. After I break the rice, what I do is I put cilantro in it. Cause you know, we love cilantro. And there's no heat on, just the steam that's coming off the rice. I'm gonna leave it in there for a little bit to get that nice, fresh cilantro flavor in the rice, and then we're gonna plate the sun style.
some tomatoes and cucumbers. Cut. I'm gonna make a rough kachumber. It's my dad's favorite salad and can't have palau without it. So I'm gonna add one teaspoon of black pepper. Or you guys could do it to taste. And one teaspoon of salt. And we're gonna take half a lemon, make sure you don't get any seeds. And if you do, it doesn't make a difference because this is tasty style salad. <laughs> Just kidding. About half a bunch of cilantro. The heart and soul of it. At my house, there's no cilantro. There's no salad. Now, let's squish it in. I have an onion. Cucumber is trying to run away. I'm gonna make a quick green raita. Use about one cup yogurt because I like to make it fresh. I don't like to make a lot of it and keep it. Now we're just gonna blend it and chutney is ready. A lot of people like to add a little heat. You can put one or two green chilies in it. I'm not a fan of it. I just like the cilantro and the yogurt and salt pepper flavor. So that's what we are doing. But if you wanna add one or two green chilies for a little extra zip, you could do it. So these, these kebabs, the recipe I just created, I actually haven't even got around to name them yet. So after we do our first service with them and we get the client review, then we'll see what we call them. Maybe Basan style. <laughs> Palau is plated. Now I'm gonna finish the plating around it. I'm gonna start with consumer that I made earlier. I had it sitting for like 20 minutes. All the juices came out. Mm, smells so good. Can't have Palau without it. As for you pops. I'm gonna pull the right back out. My measurements are quite good. Actually, they're really good. This is so my favorite part. I'm gonna put the kebabs. My favorite part is plating. For my favorite garnish, dried parsley. To break the color, you see how let me show what difference it makes. It just puts everything in focus. Kebabs. The palau is plated, the color is gorgeous, the consistency of rice is awesome, and it smells perfect. We have awesome kebabs to complement it, kachumbur, green raita, everything I love about cooking is right here. This reminds me of our Fridays, when my mom used to cook it. Amiti, to see awesome video. And Tadi recipe, and this is for you. I love you. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this recipe, because I had a great time making it. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share, and we'll get you guys next time, definitely Basan style.